Kia ora. In this short video we're going to look at how to add album art or cover art to our files using Music Brains and Music Brains Picard. Um, so I've got Music Brains Picard here and a nice little example album over here on the left. Um, and now this doesn't have any artwork in it um, either on the in the folder or on the file. So um, to start with I'm just going to drag it in. Now you'll see I've actually already uh, tagged this before, but let's assume you haven't. Um, let's just assume we're going from scratch. So I'm going to delete this. And we're going to, uh, this is just the standard workflow cluster. And if you're having running into trouble with this, look up the video on how to, uh, how to tag files, because step one is to match them. Now we can actually, um, we could just click this and then drag and drop some artwork onto here, but because we want a mass tag, uh, we're going to look at a way to do this quicker. We're going to do it properly. So this is just, again, the basic way to match stuff. Um, so that's cluster and then look up. Again, there's another video on how to do that. It's a whole other thing. You can use scan, um, look up, look up and browse. Lots of different ways to do it. But cluster and then look up's pretty good. And we're going to right click. We're just going to go to other versions here. And uh, we just want, you know, we want to make sure it's the version that we've got. Or you might not really care. You know, if you don't really care, then whatever. But in this case, I know it's the CD. Um, and now we can see it, all the tracks have been matched. It's all green. The CD's turned gold. We drag this out. We can see it. So I just dragged a track out. We can see it's not matched. Now if I hit save, it would uh, save everything here that's been matched with the green, uh, with the green square here. Uh, this track is just in the database. The music note, it tells us the file hasn't been matched. So if I drag and drop this back over, we could drop it over here. I could give it the tags from track two, but obviously not correct. Okay, now that's all tagged. Great, it's matched. So that's actually, so saving artwork's kind of a secondary uh, result of what uh, Music Brands Picard does, which is really tag these whole albums with all the information. Again, I've already tagged it, so there's not much here. Um, okay, there's some differences because I think I tagged to this one. There we go. So uh, we can see here, these are all the tags that have been added, but we're just going to look at just how to add artwork. So what I'm going to do for this example is I'm going to untick save tags. I'm going to make sure rename files and moved files are also uh, not ticked. Because we don't, and again in this example, I don't really recommend it. I think if you're going through the work of matching things to uh, to Music Brains releases, you may as well um, tidy up your files while you're at it. But let's not go there. Let's keep it simple. So I'm just going to go to Options. Uh, and I've already here selected um, Cover Art on the left here. So now this is my personal preferences that I'm going to run you through. I'm going to tick here, Save Cover Images as Separate Files. And now I use Folder. Uh, usually folder.jpg as my cover art image. And that's because you get, we'll see it later, you're going to get a nice uh, image on the Windows browser. But we could we could make a front cover, we could have a cover.jpg or artwork, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, folder. So we'll do folder. Overwrite file if it already exists. Save only a single front image. I'm going to tick that. I don't want to download the booklet and so on. Going to slow things down, but if you want the booklet back cover, uh, don't tag that. Now, cover art providers. This we do want to pay attention to. Um, I think the default here is to have release at the top and then release group, uh, and then under that, you've got uh, your cover art URLs, uh, your local files, and fanart.tv. So, local files is pretty handy, that will rewrite any uh, local files. We can see the options here on the left, right? So if we tick local files, uh, here we go. So cover folder, any files named any of these will get renamed here we can see. So what it does, it runs through these in order and it will grab the first one it can find. So if I only wanted to rename all my local files to, they were called album art and I wanted them called folder, just ticking that and then doing this and making sure album art or you know whatever um whatever you prefer there whatever it is called you could just hit save so it's pretty it's pretty powerful but for this uh for this premise 
uh, let's assume we just want to grab artwork if we can get it. Now the reason I put release group above release is that, uh, let's hit make it so, I'll look this up in browser and now let's have a look at what it's called, uh, what it's doing here. So we've got a cover here on the right, okay, and we're in the release. So we're in that release that we pulled up on Picard and it's got 14 uh, bits of artwork attached. Front, booklet, so on. Again, we could grab all of these, but I just want the front for the purpose of this. Now, this isn't the only version of this album. So I'm going to go to see all versions of this release at the top, and there's three of them there. Now, depending on which one of these you've got, the artwork might be kind of crap. Um, you know, I mean, in this case, I think they're both pretty good. Here we go. So this this isn't as nice. Now, depending on your preferences, you might really want the correct album art for this version. So, um, you know, you might say this is the Japanese release and it's got a, a Obi strip or something special or um, or it's Digipack. It's not square or it's a cassette cover or something like that. And you've got a cassette rip. So if you want to keep this image that's version specific so let's go back into Picard if we right click here we've got versions now if you're being really careful and you want to just make sure in that case you would not put release uh, you would not move release one down however again I'm assuming we're going quick so and you just want to get the best quality um, so we want the release group cover that is the cover that we've got at the top right here and this allows uh, people to kind of have the best of both worlds. You can get the really specific release per cover, but for release group, here we go down here. If you're logged in, you're an editor, you can go set cover art. And you can pick, it defaults, I believe, to the first, first release with a front cover, maybe digital media. Anyway, but the point is, uh, editors can pick the best one. And so the release group should generally be square high resolution and so on. So again, for the purposes of this, we'll leave the release group at the top and we're just gonna do save cover images as separate files. You could do embed cover images into tags. Uh, we'll cover that in a second, but this is if you want the file separately. And then now I'm just gonna go into the options for cover art archive, uh, which is download only cover art images matching selected types. So I'm gonna select types and I mean, in this case, right, I'm just going to tick front or we'll have front in the include list. Um, and if you want to exclude some, so you don't want any front covers with watermark or the raw unedited type. Uh, I think those are the defaults over here. Now, raw unedited, sometimes people misunderstand what's that, what that's for. Um, and then they uh, add it to the, to the types in music brains. So, you know, um, I don't know. Personally, I just take them out because what it finds is better than nothing um, for front. And we, we can preview what it finds. So, um, and now here, here's the other option you want to set the size. So we've got five, 250 pixels, 500 pixels, full size. Full size can be really big. It can be like hundreds of megabytes per image. If that's what you want, if you want to spend time downloading that, go for it. I'd say for a modern modern player, you know, 1,200 pixel, that's getting pretty pretty nice. Um, so let's do that. Now, so we have here, let's just double check again. Yep, save cover images as separate files. So only a single image. Now, I'm going to right click here after changing says I want to do refresh. Uh, and it's taking a second because it's loading the cover up. And here we go, we can see the, the cover right here. And we can go show more details, and then we can kind of have a look at, at what we've got. But yeah, we've got 1,200. Um, and now if I press save, click save, because we haven't ticked any of these, the files stay the same. But look, we've got this nice little folder.jpg image here. Um, so the general idea is with this setup, you could have 50 folders here, or your whole music folder. You could drag it in, um, drag it in, cluster, and uh, cluster, and look them up. And then again, it will take a little bit longer with album art. It's got to load it in, but you could just select all of them. You could select the whole lot in here, and then just hit save, 
Um, I'd recommend double checking the artwork. Uh, in options, we do have overwrite the file ticked. So, you know, as honestly, as with any program, with any automation, always, always test on a backup. Just make sure you're not losing, you're not making a mess. You haven't accidentally um, ticked something that you weren't meant to uh, and everything's getting stuffed up. All right, now let's look at another option. So I, I like embedding cover art into tags. Uh, no, sorry, into the into the folder because my player just pulls, well, all my players actually just pull this image and um, it saves on space and I can have this image be really big. I do sometimes have files here that are 10, 20 megabytes. Um, and obviously you wouldn't do that with embedding into each of these files. You'd have 100 megs times uh, eight in this case, 200 kilobytes. Um, it's not that bad. So let you know, let's let's embed it. And this is useful for phone players, car players, so on. Sometimes they do just want the embedded uh, embedded image. And let's also, while we're here, make a note. So these are flat files. Um, .flacs. Um, the tagging can kind of differ between if you've got some tricky tricky file format you're working with. See how you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you might have to mix it up a bit, but this this should work. So we're just going to go embed cover images into tags here. And that's really it. We're just we're just going to swap that out. I'm going to go make it so. And then again, I'm going to refresh. Take a little second, show more details. You can see here. Um, we're just going to hit save. And now let's see. These should. Oh. Sorry, I forgot to mention. So for this one, so this is a little bit of a of a special case. We need to tick save tags. Now be really careful. If you don't want your tags overridden, have a look down here at what it what it's going to save. It's going to delete anything that's read that's marked as read down here. Um, there isn't an option to just save the cover art tags. That's just because. Uh, Picard's not really just a cover art tagger. You can search for MP3 tag for something like that. Um, you can go here um, into scripting, and there are things that you can have here. You can add unset, uh, and then if you type in, for instance, album artist or something here, this bit of code makes sure that this tag won't be overwritten. And you know, you can add as many of these as you want. There's a list, if you search the Music Brands forums, you can find a full list of uh, what these are, genre, blah, blah, blah. You can just paste in the full list if you like. Um, again, you want to test it first, make sure it really isn't overriding your tags. But uh, just to reiterate, man, I think if you're doing the putting this work in, t tidy up your tags while you're at it. Um, you know, heck, while you're at it... Um, Rename and move files as well. Make sure, make sure you've matched it correctly and go for it. But okay, now let's do this again with save tags set. And we'll delete this folder image over here. And let's go to save. Here we go. So now what it's done is it's embedded it into the file. Um, or we could do both, of course. You know, you can tick both, save cover. Um, and now let's untick save only a single front image. And we can just kind of have a look at what that's going to do as well. we'll refresh. And now it's got to load. Uh, if you look at the bottom here, you can see down here, we can see it's loading. Uh, it was loading a bunch more artwork. Um, oh, funny, it still hasn't saved those booklet images. So what have we got? Um, Uh, okay, we've, it's because of here we've got download only front, right? Okay, so we're going to untick that, make it so, refresh. Um, again, here we go, we can see it's downloading a booklet. Um, and then we can have some elevator music here, because take a little second. Oh, and I think I had, did I have full size ticked as well? Maybe it was 1000. Uh, oh no, 1,200. Okay, so this is going to be a bit quick. But as you can see, and there's going to be releases, you know, again, with a massive booklet, you're going to be waiting a while. Um, and here we go. 
go. Download this. this. Okay, now we're gonna hit save, and it should add all the all the JPEGs here. So as we can see now, it's um it's downloaded all these. Um, so if you want to, if you want more stuff, you can do that. Just be aware with the size. Um, I have resized here to 1,200 pixels, but yeah, just be a little bit careful with your bandwidth and what you're grabbing. Um, I want to show you. I'll show you one more. One more thing here. Um, let's change this again. Only download the front. Hit save. Uh, oh, did I? <laughs> what did I do there? Oh, it's because I didn't refresh. Is that why? Let's see. You're on a you're on a journey with me here. What usually happens is you get your your nice setting that you like, and then you leave it the same for the next um ten years. Which is what here there we go. Which is what's happened here. So <laughs> quite frankly, I haven't touched Albmart settings in forever because once you've got it how you like it, apart from little tweaks, that's what you're gonna do. Um and you might have also noticed this is why it's good to leave your tags. When I drag stuff in, it immediately goes to the right. I can just hit save with my updated settings. Now for a bigger library, that's great. You probably don't want to tag drag in thousands of albums at once. It's going to slow it down. But you can grab your 20 albums that you've uh, where you've hit save tags, and it will automatically put it to the right. When you hit save, it'll just apply all the options. It'll just run through and do it. So that's uh, that makes it really quick. So one thing I wanted to um, show here is we can. Hmm, I thought we could. Let's have a little look. Uh, options. Let's go to cover art. Let's just go make it so. So I've unticked all cover art. We're going to refresh this. Mm, we're going to we're going to delete it and drag it back in. Okay. Yep. Save tags. I'm just going to save this to unset all of this. Now, one thing we can do is drag artwork into there as well. Okay. So that's going to tag with that. Um, except in this case it won't because I didn't. I still haven't set. But uh, if you do, if it's not finding anything in uh, in Music Brains or the other cover art providers, um, you know you can drag and drop. Now, if you've got a really high quality, great image, um, the 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 nice thing to do, the courteous thing to do, is to go look up in browser and add it here. Um, add cover art, log in. Add it here, and then you're helping everyone in future who wants cover art uh, using Picard or Music Brains. If it's a crap cover, if it, if you're not sure if it belongs to this, then don't don't upload it. Um, this is the Digital Media Unofficial Remaster by Arlo Bosca. I've got no idea what that cover looks like. Uh, this is some kind of weird digital bootleg. So you do want to make sure it's from the right source. Um, don't bother uploading junk. Because you're not really saving anybody any time, but if you if you don't mind putting in some work, um, and there is another video. It's called How to um, Add Artwork Quickly, and if you really just want to go through a collection and add lots of artwork to Music Brains, uh, follow the instructions in that. But anyway, hopefully now, uh, in terms of cover art, adding it to your files, you've got you've got your um, your methods here: embed cover or save separately, or both. We know how to select which images to use and what size to do it at, um, and to be careful with what else we're saving if we just want that cover up. So you're good to go.